Oh, I love it. That's my favorite sport. Standing between the pipes for lacrosse goalies, it requires lightning quick reflexes, field awareness, and audacity. My job is just to stop the ball and direct the defense. Especially when opponents fire 100 mile an hour shots right at you. The goalies are, they're, they're a special group. I mean, some say you gotta have a couple of loose screws. For Mark Isabel, this is heaven. I had a choice to do anything right now. Stay, stay. It would be just to play lacrosse. The 17 year old is obsessed. I have to put in a lot of work. While Mark dreams about his next game, he takes comfort knowing he's already beaten his biggest challenger. Just a terrible time that I don't wanna uh, relive. 12 years ago, a devastating diagnosis. Whenever a doctor pulls you aside and needs to talk to you in private, you know something serious. Leukemia. Mark was four years old. I remember going to all doctor visits. I remember the painful shots I kept having. Battling cancer required rounds of chemo and endless hospital stays. Everyone's staring at me with a mask on and I just, I just wanted whatever was happening to me to be over. He was a 20% maybe gonna live. The illness was draining the life out of Wendy Isabel's youngest child. There was times that it was unbearable the things he was getting. He was getting spinal taps constantly. I do remember that. Painful. Mom documented each step of her son's harrowing journey. That's the day we thought we were going to lose you. It didn't go well. Mark would persevere. They knew I could pull through. At age eight, he was given a clean bill of health. I just looked at it as my son has it and we're going to beat it. It says, Mark, you're so brave. Being cancer free has allowed the honor student, athlete and musician to pursue another passion. So dad, Took a video of you Saturday mm -hmm. while you're getting your head shaved. Mark is still fighting cancer in another arena. Third lacrosse team right here. Nice to meet. The lacrosse team from Adley High School cheering this guy on. Through public awareness and fundraising. That's my first year. Each spring, for seven years running, Mark shaves his locks for St. Baldrick's. Here's my long lost twin. Raising money for childhood cancer research. He has so much empathy for people. He wants to do things for people. So far, Mark has raised $25,000 and counting. I do not want any kid to go through what I went through. It was a tough time and it's very tough. Mark feels a kinship and responsibility to give back. I hear someone who has a kid who has cancer. I remember how hard it was for, for me and I don't want anyone to go through that. The junior is not wasting his second chance. It's where I can get to relax and just have fun. Taking his place in net whenever he can. I appreciate so much. Uh, my team it always has my back. At least varsity coach Fielding Crawford calls Mark a warrior on oh, yeah. and off the field. He's tough as nails. Oh. Oh. We want to be there to support Mark. Oh. Playing in a high school lacrosse game, oh. that's probably small potatoes for him, you know, quite honestly. You may understand if Mark Isabella erased the dark memories of cancer. I would say keep your head up. Push, push. It will get better. You just got to fight. But being a survivor, this goalie will always dedicate himself burp, burp. to making saves. Nice. That's a great play. In the game burp. of life. Yeah, yeah, Mark. Hey, family on two, family on two. One, two, family. We find remarkable people all across Central Virginia. Julian Ness is a hero to a lot of people. This is his life passion. That's obvious. Watch Heroes Among Us Thursdays on CBS 6.